Congress is advancing a plan to draft women into the military. This provision is part of this year's national defense bill, but the push is being met with some controversy and criticism, too. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Raquel Martin explains. The push to include women in the draft does have bipartisan support here on Capitol Hill and will likely make it in the final draft of the plan. Congress is on the verge of making women register for the military draft. Women have every ability as a man to serve. The provision is part of the National Defense Bill the House passed with bipartisan support back in September. Even though the U.S. isn't currently using the draft system, the bill would require all U.S. citizens between 18 and 26 to sign up regardless of gender identity. And I support it being included in the final package. But some Senate Republicans disagree. I don't quite get it. Senator Josh Hawley is among a group of Republicans pushing back against the measure. I'm going to try and force a vote to return the draft to how it has been, which is that women are not drafted against their will. Senator Tom Cotton says he wants a specific vote on the issue. This is a serious change of military policy and we should have a vote and all senators should go on the record. But not every Republican is opposed. In fact, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has long supported drafting women. Even so, Republican pushback on this and other issues is holding the bill back. These delays are unfortunate. Thursday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the military needs the funding bill to pass. There is no good reason to keep delaying. We should move the process forward. For now, a vote isn't expected until after lawmakers return from Thanksgiving break. The U.S. government has not relied on the draft system since the Vietnam War. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.